What's up? I'm Cosentino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to these videos where we go behind the scenes and I give you insight into my favorite tricks and illusions from my TV specials or television appearances, etc. So, that is a little kind of disclaimer to explain if you haven't been here before what's actually going to take place. If you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today we're taking a look at a card trick from my TV show, The Elements. Again, if you've been here before, you know what The Elements uh, was or is. It's a television series created for Sony International Pictures out of Asia. This is called Ash Card. I won't say too much about it. We'll watch the video, we'll come back, and then we'll have a chat. So let's check it out right now. As a kid growing up, I was a walking contradiction. Yes, I was awkward, especially in social settings. I was a shy communicator. Although I was afraid of people and any glimpse of being placed in the spotlight, I was never afraid of things that could potentially hurt me physically. One being fire. Take the pack. Cut it in half, two piles, two piles. Okay, good, 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 no, stop, stop, stop. Okay. There's a pile on your left, there's a pile on your right. Right. Which pile do you want to use? We'll use this one. The one in your right? Yep. So you want to get rid of the left? Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, very sure. So these cards here, they're gone. We don't want them, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, pass it, pass it to the center. Boom. Cut it in half. Around about half. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Two piles again. Which pile do you want to use, left or right? right? Left. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so these cards here? Yeah. We're going to get rid of them. Fair? Yes. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Let me touch them for the first time. Let me touch them and spread them out. Mm-hmm. What is there? Five, six cards. Joe, you just touch a card with your finger. Stop. So, yeah. This is the moment of truth. Okay. Do you want to change your mind? No, I'm good. Sure? Yep. Take the card, have a look at it. Yeah. Don't show me. Fair? Can you can you fold it up in half, in half? You want me yeah, to fold this? Fold it. Okay. But are you happy that these cards, you know, uh -huh. they're all different? We'll get rid of them. Okay, you folded it. So I can't see it. Yeah. There you go. Okay, good, good. Uh, hold, hold it just like that. Stay, stay there. What I need to do, give me a moment. Okay. I need to grab. Ashtray. Okay, we'll do it down here, we'll do it down here. Okay. Hold this end, this end, so I can't see the card. Okay, good, good. That's it, that's it, it's good, it's good. Let it light up. All right, that's burning. It's gone. Up in smokes. Okay. It's still going. It's done. The card is done. Yeah. Okay. You're thinking of the card, Joe? Uh huh. Sony, you thinking of the card? Yes. Tell me. What was the card? Uh, Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs? Yeah. What? No, get out of here, man. <laughs> what? Demon! <laughs> no, no man. that is official, man. That right there is scary, bro. I'm out of here, man. What? Ten of spades. Ah! <laughs> ah, okay. Wow. Wow. 
Okay, oh my god. This is weird. Can I touch that? It's weird. Oh my god! Okay, so there you have it. Now the celebrities in this particular video are Flizzo and Sona, they're in the barber shop, which is kind of cool because these guys are a hip hop artist and he owns a barber shop. Um, and it's just so fitting. It's kind of got that, that, that American feel to it. Uh, and then the other celebrity was Aaron Aziz, who's an action star. That was his wife and I was actually in their home. Now, this trick is very powerful. Simple in its execution, really. It's just someone selecting a card and then you're finding it in a unique manner. But the ash, the burning of the card, the fact that I never see the card, that it's burnt, that the selection of the card is done very freely. It's not like just take a card, it's you take the cards, you shuffle them, you mix them up and start to cut the deck. We'll start to narrow the cards down. This hands-off approach, I think makes the effect much more powerful. Now, it is just a choose a card and reveal a card, but the reveal in Ash is very powerful because it, it's, it's got this spooky feel to it. That's why everybody, you saw uh, Sona uh, uh, kind of freak out. They're like, ah, oh, no way, in the barber shop. That's because it is kind of scary. And the fact that your arm is blank and then um, it appears uh, is, is really quite shocking to the audience. Sometimes as magicians, we forget um, how powerful these things actually are. I keep using the word powerful because sometimes we overlook the effects. We go, no, 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 but it's a, it's a, to us as magicians, it's a simple kind of reveal. And um, this, this type of reveal has been done for some time, but that doesn't mean we should disregard it and, and think it, it, it's not potent, it's not a good effect. So when I was working at the elements, earth, wind, uh, fire, water, I thought, well, what else could I do? Ash, fire, ash, that makes sense. So this trick is very fitting. It wasn't just, I would go back through the history books and choose a card trick or choose a reveal to a card trick that, that I thought was, you know, subpar. I chose this particular piece because one, I knew it was very, very powerful when it's done properly. And two, it obviously fits the element of fire. Okay, so I didn't realize how powerful it would actually be, but that's the reason why this ash card, that's what I call ash card is quite a powerful, which is why, so, which is why it's been such a powerful effect. Um, and, and why it's become a classic because, well, it's become a classic because it is powerful. That's the point. Uh, and you can see the reaction, even with Aaron at the end, you can see him kind of, his reaction is like, okay, yep, this guy's good. Like that's kind of, I can see his mind thinking like that. Yep, yep, he's really good. And the way his wife um, responds is really, really quite shocking. And his only explanation is for him to say, well, you must have set it up with my wife, which of course is not the case. Otherwise she wouldn't have responded like that. Um, but really good effect. Simple in its execution, simple in its reveal, but powerful, showing you that, you know, you don't have to always uh, do something that's crazy death-defying with knives and, and water, but just bringing it down to its essence and doing it well um, with not a lot of talk, just the little elements of having them cut the deck, having um, them really have a free choice, throwing the cards away, eliminating them, and then getting to the reveal shows me as a magician um, that it doesn't have to be overly complex to create a good effect. With that being said, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the behind the scenes of uh, this particular trick. It really is, this one is really one of my favorites just because of the response it actually produces. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're enjoying the videos, share them, comment, subscribe, like, and I'll continue to make these videos. And I'll see you all in the next video. Remember to always believe.